Hi guys, welcome back to my third video, I'm Aurora's, and today we're going to be talking about Joanna Lopez. It's super interesting. Before I start, uh, this is the third time I'm trying to film this video. I <laughs> recorded on slow-mo, so I just completely messed up. So if I seem a little jumbled, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a mess. So, a little background. Joanna Lopez, if that even is her name, there's a lot of people, we'll get into that later, who think that that's not her name, but that's what was broadcasted or in the W M A Q Channel 5 in Chicago. It was a missing, it's a really eerie, picture of her um says joanna lopez with the number to the chicago police department i believe under it and it's in black and white and it was aired on television so let's get into the timeline between 1965 and 1975 joanna lopez was born no one really knows the exact date or where she's born because no one knows anything about her. A lot of people, this is just speculation, a lot of people just think that she looks young and she does, like in her teenage years, and people think that this is a child. So in 1982, a little girl named, I'm sorry if I butcher this, but I believe it's pronounced Trishy. Tricia Kellett was missing or is missing in the Chicago area and her picture was broadcasted on the same channel in Chicago as Joanna in 1988. So we know that people were broadcasted as missing and this wasn't just like a misclick or anything because in 1989, Joanna Lopez was aired and her picture was aired the whole night which it's super creepy that if you're going through channels and you see this picture on all night because in 1991 her picture was aired again but it was only on for a few seconds now people think that this was actually a misclick people contacted the channel and they were like yeah it was probably just an accident that it was broadcasted the second time but it's definitely worth mentioning all the information that i am getting for this video i'm getting from r slash joanna lopez on reddit there's a huge community of people in there that are so invested into this case and i've been looking into it for about six months and i've been really wanting to make a youtube video on it so really that's all that's known <laughs> about her which is insane that there's like nothing that's really known this is all theories speculations people looking into it but the mods of the reddit did call a joanna lopez that went missing at the same time in chicago she was i guess like nervous and really just taken aback that someone's calling her and being like did you go missing at this time do you think this was you on tv and she's just like i don't think that they would say I was missing or put me on television or even file a missing persons report because she was only missing for a little bit. But a lot of people were like, you know what? I do think that this was her and the case is solved. But most people are like, no, there's still too many questions. They don't want to contact this woman again because she was obviously really just like, mm, I don't know. 
thing I forgot to mention is that she might not have even gone missing in 1989. She could have gone missing way before that. They're just really looking into it on their own and seeing like anything in yearbooks. People think maybe that her name was Rachel or Guan Gu Guana? Guana? I think it's Guana. I'm sorry again if I butcher that, but they think that maybe she had a different name or even if that wasn't her name at all, if she even wasn't missing in Chicago because there are so many people with the last name Lopez. Another theory I think is really interesting is that she was in the troubled teen industry, which I think is super likely, but there's a lot of people again that think this wasn't really too likely because would they report her missing after they kn if after people knew where she was sent or was something else reporting her missing but if you don't know what the trouble teen industry is i haven't looked too much into it but it's basically the parents of these teens or kids that i guess were acting up or being bad whatever were basically sent away somewhere and they would just have to do a lot of work or honestly it was just like torture and there are so many people that escaped and were sharing their stories on that which is just so crazy and yeah it's likely but if she was in that like wouldn't they kind of know where she was or yeah i personally don't believe that theory but you can decide yourself there are like a huge group of people that are like okay this whole thing was a hoax um someone just did it as a joke i mean the picture i can't stress this enough it's so creepy um there, it could just be a huge hoax like honestly <laughs> I sort of believe this one and I might just want to believe it to ease my mind but I know that like I don't think that sh it was a hoax I kind of don't think that this was her real name because there's this Rachel Lopez that looks super similar that someone found in a yearbook. It's crazy. I can't. There's honestly really not that much information that I can put into this video. There are so many theories. I did mention some. I cannot mention all of them. So if you do want to join, read it i totally recommend it there was someone who contacted the fbi and was like is do they know any information on her which is crazy people are really really trying to find this girl and she got a response which again i think is insane that the fbi responded to this person asking do you know anything um and a lot of people are like, I don't know if they're really trying. This was a long time ago. They don't know if it's real, but it's definitely another thing that's worth mentioning because it's just crazy that they responded and were like, no, there is records on her, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> now, before I end this video, I would like to say that you should not contact anyone who is named Joanna Lopez, Rachel Lopez, Guana Lopez. Don't try looking for them and contacting them. Any personal information, don't share it on the Reddit or Discord. That is a rule. It's really crazy how much you can find about a person just looking up names online. I know months ago I looked up Joanna Lopez just being like, you know looking into this more 
and I found public records on just a list of Joanna Lopez's in the Chicago area with like their numbers and home addresses and I was like that's crazy <laughs> that you can just find people's address online just by looking up their name imagine getting a call and being like hey um are you did you go missing in 1989 and is your name Joanna Lopez like that would be so creepy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what do you think. Join the Reddit, join the Discord. I know I said that many times, but definitely do. There's so much information that I did not bring up. There are so many other YouTube videos also that have really good information on this whole thing. And yeah, bye. See you next time. I am probably gonna be uploading honestly like every day this week because I have a lot I want to upload none is really gonna be like this video this is gonna be one or even like the last I guess mystery video but if you do want to see more of these I can make them I do really like making them so you know maybe it won't be totally didn't forget to make an outro